Ben, for this one, what was it particularly about the tone that this team was able to set that kind of fueled the entire game? Um, probably losing the first two games. Like everybody in here wants to win. There's an expectation to win. So, um, you know, coming to Charlotte, that's that's the priority. Um, and everyone was on the same page. You're able to put up 42 points, 17 fast break points. When the pace is pushing like that, what does that show showcase about how lethal the offense can be? Um, I mean, it shows we, we can get up a lot of shots uh, and, and get good shots. Um, you know, that's going to be a priority of mine, just get out and run and push the ball and push the pace um, and find my guys. Jacques was, I mean, digging down on it, Jacques was talking about the sooner this team accepts the reality that they're a fast break team, the better everybody's going to be. I mean, was this kind of indicative of the way you guys can look when you're playing the way it's intended? Yeah, I think that's the first part about, about our team that you will see. Like, we're, we're going to get out and run. Um, but I don't think that's everything about us. I think we got a lot more growing to do. Um, you know, we got, we're capable of playing the half court too. Um, once we, you know, figure out our sets and how we want to play. Um, but the first part is running, you know, we're going to get out in transition and run. With Cam at this point, you guys know if he's he can score. What is it about him that just seems like he's doing it at a more efficient level, but also the more mature level on the court now? Yeah, he's, he's maturing. Um, he's taking his time. He's not rushing it. Uh, he's trying to make the right play every time. So. He's going to keep learning and, and seeing different looks every time he comes down. Um, but, you know, he's a great and talented scorer. To get the first win of the season in a game where you guys led wire to wire and you had starters out, you know, I know Spencer went out in that second half. Um, just is it one of those, like, inspiring things to see that this team can, like, come always together? It's inspiring. I think we just got to do our job. I think we're, we're more than capable to do it. You know, obviously we have, um, you know, three of our guys down in terms of, you know, starters. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, people need to step up. And that's what this is about. So it's not inspiring. I think it's just, you know, next man up. Um, and everyone's, you know, accepting that challenge. To talk about next man up. What kind of job has Doe done? I mean, he's playing center. He's yeah. What, 220. Yeah. Um, just what kind of job has yeah, he done and how much easier has he made your job he makes my life a lot easier um just in terms defensively you know he's able to go down and i can get a little break if i'm you know guard one of the bigger guys um he's a physical guy can stretch the floor um and then you know defense first you know i think he's he's been a great leader on this team in terms of that um and he's, he's very uh consistent in terms of leading for Lonnie to miss the first, to not play the first game, but these last two games to really step up the way he did, even when Spencer came out, was out. Yeah. What does it say about just his one professionalism, but also the ability to just get buckets? It's Lonnie Walker. Like if you watched him last year, you know what he's capable of. Um, so I mean, he deserves to play every night. You know, he's one of the guys we need um, on this team to you know have nights like this. Can you just talk about the effort the team's shown on the rebounding, um, just these first three games? Yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not going to win if we don't rebound. It's, it's, it's simple. So, um, I mean, I, I try to make that an emphasis to grab as many boards as I can, um, and hopefully that's contagious.